Hi students, uh, let us continue with this uh, arm modes of operations. So in the previous video, I explained about uh, the the total seven modes that are present uh, that can support the advanced risk machine. So those modes can be fall either in privileged or non-privileged conditions. Okay, now let's see uh, what type of information these modes can hold means uh, whatever the register set you are having. So it is a 16 bit register set. So these registers, which registers will be acting as a, uh, when it acts as a user mode and when it acts as a fast interrupt, when it acts as an interrupt request, let's see that. So here, this, uh, uh, let's take the first user and the system mode. The, let's take the user and system mode. This user and system mode access permissions uh, or there are for all 15 registers. So they are having the permissions on all 15 registers, okay, and CPSR as well. So total it is having the permission to access all the 15 registers which are present in the arm. At the same time, the CPSR is also, it can access only this user and system. Now coming to the next FIQ, uh, FIQ. So this is a fast interrupt request. So here, let's see here, this R0 to R14, sorry, R8 to R14 is replaced with, is replaced with R8 underscore FIQ to R14 underscore FIQ. So just replace this part, okay. So I'm just replacing this part with these elements so just place instead of r8 you have to keep r8 underscore fiq r9 r9 underscore fiq so whenever it's seeing these type these registers in the uh, main set of register so it is say uh, the processor can understood a fast interrupt request is arrived so that we have to execute those instructions Okay, so when the processor can I identify it, whenever the registers are named as R8 underscore FIQ, R9 underscore FIQ, R10 underscore FIQ, like that 13, 14 underscore FIQ. So just replace these registers with these registers in the CPSR, not CPSR, so in the register set. Let me write register set. So this is completely a register set which is present in the register bank. Okay, in the ARM architecture, you are having the register bank. So, the register bank consisting of R0 to R15 registers, okay, and having some uh, six status registers will be present. So, the status may be SPSR, some other registers, You, if you want, you can add in the future also, okay. So, these 16 registers, so uh, in which mode? The ALU can perform the operations that can be decided, decided by the register bank. Okay. Suppose if R0 to R15 are there and CPSR is there, then we can simply say it is a user mode or in it is in a system mode. So whenever it is in, if it the controller jumps to the fast interrupt request, then it has to replace all these registers with these registers. So just replace R8 to R14 with these registers. Then the processor understand understood some fast interrupt request is arrived so I, I need to perform the operation very quickly so next coming to the interrupt request so this register set is replaced with the in interrupt request when r13 to r15 means only these two parts just replace r13 with r13 underscore irq r14 underscore irq so whenever it sees uh, this type of information, okay, so then uh, the processor will understood some interrupt request is raised. Next coming to the supervisor mode. Supervisor mode means just replace this 13 and 14. Only on 13 and 14 means the stack pointer and the link register has to be replaced. The special function register has to be replaced with these special registers. That is. R13 underscore SVC, R14 underscore SVC. So next is undefined. So in the same way for the interrupt mode, this undefined is also R13 and R14 is replaced with R13 underscore SPR and 
uh, undefined and undefined. And one more thing, you have to be need to add these SPSR undefined. Okay, you need to add here. So, whereas user and system will support only these 15 registers and CPSR. But whereas fast interrupt request, interrupt request, supervisor mode, undefined mode, abort mode, uh, uh, they are also support SPSR also. Okay. So, these the, all modes will support SPSR. SPSR means saved program status register. So, I will explain that also. Don't be confused. So, the thing you have to be remember that user and system mode will only support R0 to R15 and CPSR. And here the fast interrupt request is supports uh, just replace these registers and add SPSR also. Okay. Interrupt request just replace these registers with re these registers and add SPSR IRQ also. Add SPSR, add SPSR undefined. And the abort is also just replace the R13 and R14 with R13 underscore abort, R14 underscore abort and place SPSR abort in the register. Okay. So, what is SPSR? SPSR means saved program status register. S means saved program status register so why we use this saved program register this is especially meant for privileged modes of operations so this is meant for privileged modes of operations so there is an exception here also the system mode uh, does not have so does not have support for spsr so that's why in a uh, user and system mode spsr is not supported spsr will not support in will not support in user and system so for rest of them you just add the spsr but only for user and system mode spsr is will not support so just remember that so spsr the saved program status word is used to hold the status hold the status of cpsr it is going to hold the status of CPSR. So, uh, it is, you call it as a storage register. All the registers are used to store, but this SPSR is used to store the status of the SPSR. Okay, means the current status of SP, uh, CPSR. The CPSR current state will be stored in SPSR. That is a saved program status register. Thank you.